Okay. Part 2A1 of the C Sec May 2019 past paper. Make X the subject of the formula. Let's see how you go about doing this. You have the formula Y is equal to X divided by 5 plus 3P. Now, one thing you can do is to multiply everything by 5 so that you have no fractions. All right? So if you multiply throughout by 5, you get y equals x over 5 plus 3p, just spacing them out, y times 5, x over 5 times 5, 3p times 5, you get 5y equals 5 cancels 5, you have x plus 3 times p times 5, 3, 5, 15. So you have 15p. Alright? Now, what you can do next is to subtract 15p from both sides. So you have 5y equals x plus 15p because you're going to end up with x equal. Remember, you when you start out, you have x plus a lot of other things equal. You want x alone equal. So what I did first was to get rid of 5. I am closer to getting x equal because I no longer have a 5. But now I have x plus 15p. I want to get rid of 15p so that I have x alone equal. So, I subtract 15p, 15p minus itself. On the right hand side, I have x alone equal. But then, over to the left, I must subtract 15p from the left as well. So, minus 15p. So, I have 5y minus 15p. So, here... What I have is x equals 5y minus 15p. I could um, factorize and put 5 outside the bracket. Inside the bracket, I have y minus 3p. Did you see how that worked? 5 into 5y goes y alone. 5 into 15p goes 3p. I could multiply out the brackets. 5 times y gives 5y. Five, 5 times 3 gives 15. Alright? Now, let's look at another way. Let's modify it. Re redo it and make a little modification and see if we end up with the same answer. Alright? Suppose instead of multiplying by 5 first suppose I remember first of all I want x alone equal now suppose I get rid of 3p first what would happen I want to get rid of 3p and then get rid, get rid of the 5. A while ago, I got rid of 5 first, then got rid of 3p. Now, let's get rid of 3p first, then the 5. I have y equal x over 5 plus 3p. I subtract 3p from the right. Anything you do to the right, you must do to the left as well because... You want to maintain balance. Let me make a little space with the y. If I subtract 3p from the right, the right hand side, I reduced it by subtracting something. 
uh, subtracting the 3p so it gets light it's too light so it will be off balance so whatever I subtract from the right I must go over to the left and subtract the same thing to maintain balance so to restore this balance I also subtract 3p from the left so 3p minus 3p there is no more 3p to worry about on the right so I have y equal no, y minus, not y equal, y minus 3p equals x over 5. Now the thing is, I want to get rid of the 5. I don't want x over 5 equals, I want x equal. The question say make x the subject of the formula. It did not say make x over 5 the subject, it says make x the subject. So I want x equal. So if I multiply by 5, 5 cancels 5, and I will have x alone equals. But multiplying by 5 on the right, I must multiply by 5 on the left too. So I multiply everything here by 5, put it in a bracket and multiply by 5. I have 5 times y minus 3p equals x. It's the same thing, right? It's just that I want to switch over and have the x on the left equals and the 5 y minus 3p on the right. I could have had it as 5 y minus 3p equals x, you know, that would be correct. But we're accustomed to writing left to right. And if we have x equals a number, you write x first right left to right x equals and then that number all right so it feels a bit more comfortable writing x on the left equal and then whatever it is equal to on the right so using two different methods we get we end up with five times y minus 3p as the answer